Drop a like and do share. Leave your comments and do not forget to subscribe for more videos. Hi friends, welcome back to the course on Introduction to Material Science and Engineering offered by Edupedia World. Today we will continue our discussion on phase diagrams and uh, concepts of phases which we have been discussing for uh, several lectures now. The discussion today will be focused on uh, one of the special type of phase diagram which is known as a eutectic system and obviously we are talking about binary systems. So eutectic system is a special type of system in which there is a reaction like this taking place. The reaction is one liquid gives rise to two solids simultaneously that is alpha and beta one liquid gives rise to alpha and beta simultaneously. This is known as eutectic reaction. Tectic reaction. So a phase diagram which has a eutectic reaction can be said to be a eutectic system. Now the example which we'll examine here is a copper silver system copper silver system in which it is found that there is a eutectic reaction. We will understand eutectic reaction using this copper silver system. Here the plot is 100% copper or 0% silver, 100% silver or 0% copper. So this is basically percentage of silver, increasing percentage of silver in the x axis. The y axis is the temperature. Here we have used degree Celsius and this axis is degree Fahrenheit. Now there are certain differences here with when compared to the isomorphous system. In the isomorphous system you had complete solubility in the liquid and the solid phase. Here we don't have that. There is complete solubility in the liquid that is to say that uh, the liquid exists as a single phase but in the solid state we have two different phases coexisting. So person solubility does not exist in the solid state thereby this is not a isomorphous system. Okay now we know that this is the liquidus line similar to L I Q U I liquidus line. This is solidus line. Solidus line. But here we have an additional line over here. This particular line, which is separating the single solid, single phase solid to double phase solid. This is known as the solvus line. S O L V U S solvus line. So similarly, this is also the solvus line. This is the liquidus line and this is the solidus line. Okay. With uh, this in background, let us see where exactly is the eutectic reaction taking place here. The eutectic reaction is taking place at this location exactly. What is happening is here is 100% liquid, there is no other phase and here we have two phases simultaneously occurring out of the liquid alpha and beta okay so if you examine the eutectic uh, phase diagram shown here what you see is that we have one phase is the liquid phase then we have one phase the alpha and one phase the beta phase alpha phase is rich in copper because it is at the copper end so this is copper rich beta is silver rich okay because it is at the silver end now these two ends are the terminal ends okay thereby this is also known as terminal uh, solid solutions these two because these are solid solutions mind you though this is copper rich but there 
it is not pure copper it has silver along with copper and beta has copper as a solute in silver matrix fine now let us see several different compositions and see what exactly is happening at different composition the point of our interest will be eutectic reaction that is this region you see that the conversion of liquid to two solids simultaneously is taking place only at one point it's exactly at this point that that reaction is taking place any other location you go this reaction won't take place let's assume we are over here in this line what will happen over here liquid is getting converted to liquid plus alpha so both the solid states are not forming simultaneously the second solid state will form only after the temperature reaches this region right similarly if we go this way here we form beta but there is no alpha in this region alpha is formed only after we reach this temperature if we go via any other way actually if we go via this way we have beta plus liquid here no alpha and here there is only beta all the liquid is converting to beta A parallel scenario is happening over here so what we see is there is the possibility of eutectic reaction at a given temperature at a given composition only what is the combination of temperature and uh, composition for this case for the copper silver case we have the eutectic reaction at 779 degrees celsius at 71.9 percent silver this is the combination at which eutectic reaction takes place so what we see is that we are bounded by we are constrained by factors which on only on when those factors are met with that we have a eutectic reaction thereby this type of reaction which takes place at only one singular point are known as invariant reactions they are they fall under the category of reactions called in variant reactions eutectic reaction is one kind of invariant reaction okay and we'll see later that such type of reaction have zero degrees of freedom that is you do not have any choice on the parameters at which that reaction will take place it's a fixed condition reaction so it has zero degrees of freedom we'll see that later okay so the fundamental is liquid converting to two solids simultaneously now how exactly will that happen how exactly will a single liquid form two solids what happens is let me try to draw here we are taking a sample of the liquid first nucleus will grow suppose we got a nucleus then what will happen is that this nucleus which has grown will simultaneously lead to growth of two different solid phases alpha phase and beta phase and the growth will be seen to be in lamellar form so there will be a alpha lamellae and between two alpha lamellae there will be a beta lamellae so you will have a lamellar structure this is trademark eutectic reaction a lamellar structure later we'll see that a eutectic reaction takes place in the case of iron carbon diagram 2 which is a very very important crucial diagram in steel making so the growth in eutectic reaction or the solid formation in eutectic reaction leads to lamellar structure because both the solids need to form simultaneously from the liquid fine now 
what will be the composition of the solids form suppose we are at this uh, condition we uh, solidify the liquid we let's suppose are at this temperature then what will be the composition of the solids the composition of the solid can be found out by the as i said the isothermal line if we draw over here the isothermal line will give us the alpha will be of this composition and the beta will be of this composition so the alpha will be somewhere around i guess 2% silver and the beta will be around 98% silver or something fine so reading from the phase diagram we can see what is happening is that as we come down in temperature the alpha is losing its solute the solute concentration is decreasing along this line at high temperature we have larger amount of solute almost 8% uh, silver at around 750 degree celsius and that comes down to almost 0% at 400 degree celsius so this also gives you an idea that with increase in temperature the solubility increases similarly over here beta the amount of solute is large and approximately equal to 8% at uh, 779 degree celsius whereas it comes down to around uh, 1% at 400 degree celsius right this temperature it's a fixed temperature 779 degree celsius this is the temperature at which the eutectic reaction takes place now let us see what will happen if we cool the liquid at any temperature other than the eutectic temperature what will be the result of that let's say we cool the liquid at this temperature uh, rather we cool the liquid of this composition let's assume this is 45% silver what will happen is it's 100% liquid here as soon as it hits the liquidus line it will start to form alpha nucleus and alpha uh, phase within the liquid so somewhere around here what we'll have is liquid having a concentration of this or a composition this and alpha having composition this right when we are about to reach this location the eutectic temperature what will happen is that now we will have alpha of composition this this composition and liquid of eutectic composition you see because the liquid composition which you are getting is along the liquidus line and solid is along the solidus line so the liquid which is left now will have a composition eutectic composition which is 71.9% silver okay thereby once we hit the eutectic temperature we will have liquid of eutectic composition and how much liquid will be left that will be found out by the lever rule so we will have this distance upon this distance that much amount uh, that much fraction of liquid of eutectic composition will still be left right now the liquid which we have since it is again of eutectic composition and since we are at eutectic temperature the remaining liquid that is this upon this that fraction of liquid will undergo eutectic reaction now even though the initial liquid was completely different composition it was 45% but as soon as we hit the eutectic temperature the remaining liquid we got was of eutectic composition 
See, so the interesting thing over here is it does not matter whether the starting liquid is of eutectic composition or not. If the process is an equilibrium process, that is we provide sufficient amount for diffusion, then the final amount of liquid which will be left at eutectic temperature, when we reach eutectic temperature, will be of eutectic composition, no doubt. And that has to undergo eutectic reaction. Okay, so the uh, leftover liquid will undergo eutectic reaction and we already have uh, some alpha over here. So what will happen is we at this region we will have alpha plus liquid which is again eutectic and this eutectic will again undergo reaction on further lowering of temperature giving alpha plus beta. This alpha is sometimes termed as pre-eutectic alpha and this is formed in lamellar form. This is not part of the lamellar structure. These are independent grains. But this alpha over here will be lamellar structure. Similarly, if we underwent the uh, undertook a composition on the opposite end, let's say 80%, 80% uh, silver liquid, and we cooled it down, what would happen again is over here the liquid's composition would be this and the solid would be this. At eutectic temperature, again the liquid's composition would hit the eutectic composition and the solid would be somewhere around here composition. Thereby, again, it does not matter whether you are at lower concentration or at higher concentration than the eutectic composition. Upon relatively slow cooling such that equilibrium is maintained, as soon as you hit the eutectic temperature, you will get a liquid which is of eutectic composition. So what will happen in this case? In this case, you will get beta plus liquid in eutectic form which converts into alpha plus beta on further cooling. Fine? So this gives you an idea about the eutectic system. We know that eutectic system is transformation of liquid into two solids simultaneously. And we saw that the eutectic reaction, for the eutectic reaction to occur, we need not be at the eutectic composition to start with. Eventually, we will get some amount of liquid which is at the eutectic composition. With this, I will conclude today's lecture. Next lecture, we will further our knowledge on phases and phase diagrams. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.